Bobby Blanco here on Masson All Access Extra, and I'm now joined by Kevin Franson from our Masson Nationals broadcast team. Kevin, thanks so much for joining me. Well, I appreciate you having me. Uh, you have to have me, I think. <laughs> well, so, yeah, we do have an agreement. I appreciate you so wanting me here, and that's good. <laughs> hey, we love you. Uh, we love having you on the broadcast. It's been two weeks so far of the, the regular season. How have you been enjoying the grind of the TV side of the baseball season, seeing Bob and Dan every single day and being around Nationals Park every single day? Yeah, the, gr the grind is with, you know, having to be around Colco. That, that's about it. Um, no, I mean, like, no, there's no grind when you do, for me at least, in the last, doing this now four years, um, there's no grind in doing a baseball game, no matter what, uh, how good or bad your team is, um, you know, the struggles that you may go through, the, the, the ups that you go through as well as, as far as the team. Uh, it's It's been a smooth transition. It's been easy based on the fact that, you know, Bob and I seem to have hit it off great, um, you know, for myself. I, I, I'm saying, it's, I guess, because I'm not going to answer for everybody else. But from my perspective, we've hit it off and it's, it's been fun. Well, we've, like I said, two weeks into the regular season, the Nationals now sit at 6-9, and nine, welcoming the San Francisco Giants this weekend. What are your kind of overall takeaways from the team so far? Maybe something that surprised you, a revelation maybe, that uh, caught you off guard to start the season? Uh, you know, the, the overall, so, I mean, look, 15 games in the season, you're not going to be able to determine anything. Um, around Memorial Day, you have that, that general idea of what's going on. You know, being two, hey, I mean, being two, what, one, two, and one in, in series right now, uh, I would say is, is more of the shocker. You had a, you know, favorable schedule, you know, after the Mets game, after the Mets series, uh, because I feel like the Braves were, our team still, you know, feeling a bit from last year. Uh, and if you get them while they're down right now in this time, which the Nationals did, I think that was great. But you have two series against the Pirates and the D-backs where, you know, they're major league ball clubs for sure. But uh, I, I think if you were to ask the national players, um, should we have done more? And I think the answer would be yes. Um, that's the surprising part is those, those two series for me with the Pirates and D-backs so far. Um, you know, as far as the player-wise, a couple guys that I've known for a long time, and Mikey and uh, Michael Franco and, and Cesar Hernandez have played really well. Um, so not surprised there. I'm surprised about Mikey and using the middle of the field the other way. I think that's the biggest thing for me for, from him. Uh, you know, the, the, the other stuff is with like Josiah. Um, I saw him a couple times last year and was impressed, but didn't know where it was going to go. And now seeing him a, a couple times already this year and seeing some consistencies from him um, and seeing some, you know, some want to, I think more than anything is the, the stuff that you want to see as a, as a former player, as a fan of the game. Uh, and we're already seeing that. So there's a couple of things that are surprising there, um, but nothing really, you know, I guess more or less watching Juan every day. Uh, the fact that he has not gone off at all and he is still crushing it, right? Like if you were to look at his numbers and you'd be like, but I mean, that's a great year. He hasn't even got, he, I mean, he hasn't even gotten hot. So that's scary just to think about like where he could be in the next couple of weeks, just on like a, a it doesn't even, cause it's so early in the season. It could be like a, just a, a four game span of just, you know, three hits, three hits, a couple homers. And next thing you know, you look at his numbers and you know, they're already off the charts. They'll be, you know, otherworldly worldly. Well, we have a plenty of time to see how Juan Soto season shakes out and the rest of the Nationals in the 2022 season. As we do these segments throughout the course of the season, uh, Kevin, I want to ask you a couple of trivia questions from your 2014 season with the Nationals. You played okay. nine seasons in the big leagues, only one season, of course, the NL East champion uh, chip season in 2014. Um, and look, we'll start off easy. We'll give you a couple of softballs right here. But then as the season progresses, maybe get a little deeper into the club and see how much you remember. I mean, I know nine seasons is a long time, but you seem to have a great memory on the broadcast. So I hope this isn't too much of a challenge for you. Let's go. All right. Write it down so I, I can remember all of them. Well, and I expect you then to go do some homework later on as the season progresses. All right, just so quick and easy, who led the 2014 Nationals in home runs and RBIs? Home runs and RBI would be. Ooh, 
that's actually a good one. It was either LaRoche or Zim. I'm going to go Zim. It was Adam LaRoche. You are it so close. Yeah, he let him no, because, vote. Because Zim went on the, on, on the DL because it was still the DL then. And I'm actually, I was going to say LaRoche, but then I was like, you got to you gotta go with the trick question based on the fact that Zim just retired. And, uh, you know, I went that route. Yeah, well, Adam hit 26 home runs with 92 RBIs That's and 140 right. games. And he was 34 years old at the time, so still slugging yep. it ever at first base for the Nationals. Oof. <laughs> Does that bring back some memories from uh, watching Adam crush from the left side of the plate? Yeah, because, I mean, like, the way he played the way he played first base was the same way he hit. It was just so nice, cool, calm, relaxed, uh, explosive off the bat. You could see his body torque. Um ball like you know any anything that hit the left left center field would just tail away from the center fielder um i don't know i just everything's i i, I could I could just sit back and, and think about his stance and just how straight up and tall and how like eh, everything's boring and then poof, everything explodes so yeah. Well, that was a great season, of course. You guys won the division championship. So we'll continue with some other trivia next time we have you on Mass and All oh, Access that's Extra. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate the time. Be sure to follow him on Twitter at Kevin Franzen. And of course, check him on Mass and with Bob and Dan, of course, throughout the weekend as the Nationals face the Giants. Kevin, thanks so much for the time. Thanks for having me.